One is a very strong focus on social and political criticism. Abroad people are often very curious about the Scandinavian welfare states and that is something that they can learn a lot about in, by reading these novels. We have a very strong focus on setting. Uh, if we look at the Swedish literary tradition, there's always been a very, very much a focus on, on the depiction of nature and, and landscape and setting and the use of you know, weather to illustrate your mental state and things like that. And that's something that also the crime fiction tradition has picked up on. And to a lot of people in the world, the Nordic landscape and nature is something very exotic and, and you know, with the cold, dark winters and, and the summers with, with the, you know, midnight sun and things like that. We have so many strong women characters in them and, and that is also something that makes them a little unique. And part of it is, of course, that we have a relative gender equality in Sweden. Just like other novels, uh, the readers of crime fiction are to a very big part women. They'd like to identify with these strong characters who manage to combine, you know, work and home life and, and have husbands who stay home with the kids and cook and clean and so on. Uh, well, if I should recommend some, some writers that perhaps not everybody has read yet, um, maybe Jens Lapidus, he's a great writer and he portrays a Sweden that most people might not know about, the kind of Stockholm underground uh, multicultural world. Um, Lisa Marklund is someone else that actually a lot of people have still not discovered, even though she is one of the most uh, well-known women writers in, in, in Swedish crime fiction. Uh, she writes relatively feminist novels about a journalist protagonist set in mainly in Stockholm. Um, those are interesting. Uh, I would also like to recommend Arne Dahl. He has not been that much translated. I think only two or three of his novels are yet out in English, but he's out in a lot of other languages. And he's a great example of, of a good writer uh, who also has that kind of social and political criticism.